All right. Well, if everyone is ready, uh, my clock tells me it is now quarter after the hour here. Uh, so I believe we are ready to begin the second viewfind oriented session of the day, uh, where we'll have three short talks on various viewfind customizations and improvements. And if you're ready, Thomas, I will uh, let you take it away. Uh, yes, thank you. I'm ready. Um, okay, then I will start. Uh, yes, hello. My my name is Thomas Wagner, and I'm a software developer at Hebis. We are one of the library consorts here in Germany, and we manage the viewfind installations for the biggest um, library uh, university libraries in Hessen and also smaller libraries. And yes, uh, in the next hour, we want to present to you and discuss uh, three features we developed for Viewfind. And the first one is broadcast messages and custom pages. As motivation, what, what did we want to have or what did we want to do? We wanted to be able to create custom content like notifications or general information, warnings, etc., cetera, for, for Viewfind and to be included in Viewfind. And it should be easy to create and adapt. So not only technical staff members can do this, but also librarians or uh, actually anyone who manages a uh, viewfind installation. And um, it should also be uh, possible to do this spontaneous and for short time periods. Um, yeah, so all in all, it should be easy to manage those um, custom contents. Now, uh, what do we mean by broadcast mes messages? These are simply flash messages that can be included anywhere in the, in the viewfind on any view. So for example, if you want to inform your users that the library will be closed on August 28th, you could create a flash me message that tells you this on the starting page. And the uh, static pages, you probably already know this, uh, this is part of uh, viewfind already. Um, you can create just some some blank uh, or not blank, but um, static pages that have don't have much func uh, functionality, but also inform users about something. So this is the um, default FAQ from from Viewfind. Um, but if you want to include this, the problem with this is um, well, it can be tedious if you uh, frequently change those pages. So for example, if you you want to have a page that is a weekly newsletter, you also uh, always have to, to access the UFAN installation and um, work in the folder. So uh, let us have a look at how currently static pages are included in ViewFind. Uh, you can create uh, files and put them in a specific folder. And since ViewFind 4, it's HTML and Markdown is supported since ViewFind 7. But you still, if you want to create a link, you have to change some templates, for example, the footer. And um, depending on your setup, this can well be, be quite tedious. If you have, for example, you find running in a container somewhere on the server, you need, mo need to move those files there. And that's nothing you want to do uh, so often. So uh, what did we do? Um, we created an extension for the admin module so that you can create those flash messages and static pages directly on the website. And um, we did this in cooperation with the registered service provider Effective Web Work. Um, the first idea for this came uh, from us and we developed this for uh, our Viewfind 3 installations and Effective Web Work is currently working on um, moving this to Viewfind 9. And well, I have prepared this as slides, but let me switch to the browser because I think it's nicer to see this actually in action. So I will end this. And go to the browser. All right, now you should see this. I think it works. Okay. Um, as I said, uh, uh, this is the uh, blank, or it's a standard viewfind installation uh, with just some small customizations for, for that it runs on our system. And well, the feature is included. 
And as I said, it's included in the admin module. So if we want to create something, because currently we can't see anything, we have to create it. So we go to the admin module. Let's uh, just log in with an admin account. All right. This is the standard admin module. As you can see, these are all the um, menu points that are already included. And these are two new uh, menu points. So let's have a look uh, for first for the static pages. Uh, currently, we don't have any, so uh, nothing is shown here, but we can create a new one. And OK, what do we see here? The first one is a visibility checkbox. That is used if we want to include links to those pages up here in the uh, in the header, in the navigation bar. So if we check this, the links will automatically be created here. External pages is a possibility not only to include links to uh, custom pages, but also to external pages. But we will see this in a moment. And then the navigation title is the title of the link up here. And then you can create the headline for the page and the content. And uh, there's markdown and some emojis are supported. OK, now you can uh, use an example or try an example. Uh, let's say we want to inform our users about viewfind. So that's probably nothing you would do in a real scenario, but let's do it uh, for an example. Uh, we could say, OK, our link should be called about viewfind. The headline is simply viewfind, and we can fill in this with some some markdown. Um, it's if you don't know what markdown is, that's no problem. It's uh, simply a language where you can easily um, style your your texts. Okay, and we can also do this for for other languages. So if uh, it supports multiple languages, and just as an example. Let's say we want something German here. Um, we can do this also. OK, um, and then, uh, then we can save this. And as you can see, this link uh, is shown here because we set uh, the visibility on. And if we click on it, it will bring us to our new custom page. Um, yeah, and uh, when we change languages, we can see, all right, the other languages are also supported. Mm. Okay. Now let's let's do, an, uh, before I talk about what you see here, uh, let's do another example, uh, meaning the external pages. So let's create a page, uh, uh, a link to an external page, for example, the Viewfind website. We can simply put in the URL here and the navigation title and are ready to go. This link will be created up here. And if you click on it, well, it will bring us to the Viewfind website. OK, now let's, let's have a look on these symbols here. Um, the order of the links up here is the order uh, shown here. So if we want to change the order, we need to move this below this, and this is simply possible by drag and dropping this like this. And then when we reload the page, this will be swapped. The second symbol is the visibility. So if we want uh, to hide this, those links, we can uh, click on the eye symbol and the link will disappear. And uh, the third one is if we want to change something, we can simply do this uh, by, well, editing the uh, page. And the last one is simply to delete it. So you can delete this and it's gone. Um, yeah, all of this is stored in the database. And uh, the, the good thing about this is, is if you, for example, you have a lot of customers with different viewfind installations, they can do this on their own if they have an admin account. So, um, yeah, that's really flexible. But we also think there's still room for, for the uh, custom pages that are already uh, included in Viewfind because, uh, for example, if you have something that doesn't change uh, that frequently, 
uh, like a privacy policy or an imprint, something like this. I think the there's the better uh, it's the better choice to do this with the custom pages uh, that are already included in viewfind. All right. Um, yes, that's about the about the custom pages, and now we can have a look at the broadcast messages. Uh, therefore, we need to move to this menu point, and um, as with the static pages, we can list them here, but we don't have any um, right now. So let's create one. All right. Um, what do we see here? Uh, this is visibility for the for the home page or for the starting page. If we uh, what we mean by this is this starting page. Um, but we also have the option to show those mes messages on every other page for something that's more, more important, for example. And um, we can put down the content, which uh, will be shown in the uh, boxes in two languages. And also we can select here the, the color for the, for the flash message. And finally, uh, we can select a, a starting date and an end date, so um, the messages will only shown, uh, be shown in, in this time span. So let's say, for example, from the, the example from the beginning, we want to inform our users that the library will be closed on August 28th. And this is the same thing in German. And this is something, it's just the normal information. So let's say that's enough when we show this on the homepage, maybe a nice blue because it's just some information and it will be relevant until the 28th because after that, that isn't important uh, anymore. So you can select here the 28th of August. I think um, you probably don't see what's going on here because Zoom doesn't um, capture it. But uh, if you click on the calendar symbol here, you get a calendar where you can uh, simply pick a date. And yes, let's let's save this. And uh, we can go to the starting page. And now this box is included in here. Okay, let's do another example. Um, so maybe something like this. So we want to inform our users that the, that the search portal won't be available from 16 p uh, p.m. till 16.30 p.m. May because maybe of some maintenance or something like this. And that's probably more important to the users so they know, okay, uh, the website will be down soon. And so we toggle on this visibility on every page. And yes, uh, it's more like a warning. So let's select yellow. And this is only relevant for today. So we can select just this day and save this. And as you can see, it's uh, already shown here because, well, as I said, it will be shown on every page. So if we go to the starting page reload, it will be shown here, but also if we search something, it will still be there. Okay. Um, now, the nice thing about this is you can really plan ahead those messages. For example, if we want to wish our um, students a Merry Christmas, we can already uh, create such a message. Let's say it should be shown on the home page, a nice green, and then you can already select the, the 25th and 26th of December. And yes, when you save this, everything is done. Um, this will be shown on Christmas and yeah, you don't have to do anything else. Um, okay, now let's have a look at what all these symbols mean. Maybe the first one we see is these uh, dates are in red. And that means that the messages are currently um, shown. So uh, because we have the 23rd of August, this will be shown. So this is red and this is black because, well, we need to wait for this. And as with the static pages, we can change the order here. So let's do this by drag and drop. And if we go to the starting page, we can see, okay, this order is also swapped. 
Um, the I symbol is the visibility static. So if we um, and go to the starting page, uh, it won't be shown anymore. Um, and this symbol is the for the for the global view. So um, if we toggle this on, this will also be shown on every page. And we could, for example, toggle this off. And if we now reload the page, um, yeah, this is shown instead of that one. And finally, these are the same images. You can edit your messages and also delete. delete. And yes, um, that's about the broadcast messages. I th we think this is a really nice feature to to uh, empower more people to make changes to your Viewfind installations. And now, if you are, think this this is uh, something you would like to uh, use, um, you would probably wonder how do we get this. And um, currently, this isn't part of Viewfind. And um, we can't make any promises because it's not up to us to decide if it will be included. But uh, Effective Web Work is working on uh, creating a pull request for this. And we actually, we have good hopes that it can be included because it shouldn't have any um, feature breaking changes. And yeah, so if it won't be included, we can fi still find another way. But I have good hopes that it can be included. Um, yeah, and that's for the first part of our presentation. And uh, the next topic will be presented by my colleague, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.